Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. <coughs> glory Amen. to you, our God, our hope. Glory to you, heavenly King, comforter, spirit of truth, present in all places, filling all things, treasury of blessings, the giver of life. Come and dwell in us, cleanse us, for we stay and save our souls, O blessed one. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord. Forgive us our sin, Master Bordon, and transgression. Holy One, visit our infirmities for your name, sir. Kirilace <laughs> Have mercy upon us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Let us again pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Let us again pray for Archbishop and Father Savas. For you are merciful, loving God, to you we give glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. In the name of the Lord, Father, give me blessing. Glory to the Holy, Consubstantial, and Creator, and Undivided Trinity, always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Glory to the God of the highest and of peace, good will to the people. Kiri te hiliman hiksis kadustomu mona gelitin enesisu. Lord, open my lips and my shall proclaim your claim. O Lord, why are they afflicted? Who afflict? Why are they who afflict me multiplied? Many rise up against me. Many say to my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried out to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy mountain. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord has protected me. I will not be afraid of 10,000 people who have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, my God, for you have struck all who without cause are my enemies. You have broken the teeth of sinners, but salvation belongs to the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I have laid down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord has protected me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, nor ch chasten me in your wrath. For your arrows have, are fixed in me, and you have pressed your hand heavily upon me. There is no health in my flesh, and in my face your wrath. There is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For my transgressions have risen higher than my head. They have pressed heavily upon me as a heavy burden. My bruises have become no no noisome and corrupt in the face of my foolishness. I have become wretched and bowed down utterly until the end. All day long I went down with downcast face, for my soul is filled with mockingness, and there is no health in my flesh. I have been afflicted, and I have been greatly humbled. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. But, O oh Lord, all my desire is before you, and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength has failed me, and the light of my eyes has not, is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew up against me and stood still, and my nearest relatives stood far off. And they who sought my soul used violence, and they who sought evil for me spoke vain things. 
and they meditated craftiness all day long. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, and I was a speechless man who opened not his mouth, and I became a man who hears not and has no reproofs in his mouth. For I have hoped in you, O Lord, you will listen to me. O Lord my God, for I said, never let my enemies rejoice over me. Yes, when my feet were shaken, those men spoke boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I would declare my iniquity and be, dis and be distressed for my sin. But my enemies live, and they are mightier than I. And they who hated me are unjustly multiplied. They who render me evil for good have slandered me because I followed righteousness. Do not forsake me, O Lord my God. Do not depart from me. Be attentive to my help, O Lord of my salvation. Do not take me, O Lord my God. Be not far from me. Hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, early I dawn and rise to you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a barren, untrodden, and unwatered land. So I have appeared before you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your mercy is better than life. My lips shall praise you. Thus I shall I bless you while I live, and I will lift up my hands in your name. Let my soul be filled with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditated on you at dawn. For you become my helper, in the shelter of your, and I shall rejoice in the shelter of your wings. My soul follows close behind you. Your right, right hand has been quick to help me. But those who seek to my life to destroy, they shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone who swears by him shall be praised. For the mouth of those who speak lies shall be stopped. I meditate on you at dawn, for you have become my helper. I shall rejoice in the shelter of your wings. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand has been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, I have cried out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my cry. For my soul was filled with evil, and my life draws near to Hades. I am counted with those who go down into the pit. I am like a man without help, adrift among the dead. Like the bodies of the slain who who sleep in the grave, whom you remember no more, are cut off from your hand. They have laid me down into the lowest pit, into darkness and the shadow of death. Your wrath lays heavily upon me, and you have afflicted me with all of your waves. You have made me an abomination to them. I am shut up and cannot get out. My eyes have grown weak from poverty. I have cried to you, O Lord, the entire day. I have stretched out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead, or shall physicians raise them up so that they might thank you? Shall any in the grave speak of your mercy or your truth in the place of destruction? Shall your wonders be known in the dark and your righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But as for me, I have cried out to you, Lord, in the, and in the morning my prayer shall come before you. Lord, why do you cast off my soul and turn away from me? I am a poor man and in trouble. From my youth, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Your fierce wrath has gone over me, and your terrors have solely troubled me. They came around me all the day long like water. They engulfed me altogether. You have put me far away from my friend and neighbor and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, I cried out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my cry. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, and forget not all that he has done for you. He forgives all your iniquities. He heals all your infirmities. He redeems your life from corruption. He crowns you with mercy and compassion. He satisfies your desire with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of mercy and justice for all who are wronged. He may notice ways to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our iniquities, nor has he rewarded us according to our sins. For as a have for as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy to those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he moved our iniquities from us. As the Father has compassion on his Son, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows that what we are made of, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. As a flower of the field, so shall he blossom. For the wind passes over it, and then it shall be gone, and its place remembers it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity to eternity upon those who fear him, and his righteousness upon the sons of sons. Upon those who keep his covenant, remember to do his commandments. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. His kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word, hear ye the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers, who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. 
O Lord, hear my prayer. In your truth, give ear to my supplications. In your righteousness, hear me. And enter not into judgment with your servant, for no one living is justified in your sight. For the enemy has pursued my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness like those who have been long dead. And my spirit is overwhelmed within me. My heart within me is distressed. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all your works. I ponder on the work of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul longs for you like a thirsty land. Lord, hear me quickly. My spirit fails. Turn not your face away from me, lest, lest I be like those who go down into the pit. Let me to hear your mercy in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Lord, teach me to know the way in which I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. To you have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall lead me on a level path. Lord, for your name's sake, you shall preserve my life. In your righteousness, you shall bring my soul out of trouble. And in your mercy, you shall utterly destroy my enemies. And you shall destroy all those who are afflicted of my soul, for I am your servant. <clears throat> Hear me, O Lord, in your righteousness, and enter not into judgment with your servant. Hear me, O Lord, in your righteousness, and enter not into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall lead me on the level path. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, our God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. the peace from above and the salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for peace in the whole world, for the stability of all the churches of God, and for the unity of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this holy house, let us go enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For Archbishop and Father Salva, the noble presbyters, the deacons in the service of Christ, and all the clergy and laity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our country, the president, and all those in public service, the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this parish and city, for every city and town, the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. For favor, weather, and abundance of the fruits of the earth and temperate seasons, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and birthday of God by your grace. Remember, our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotok, cost and every Mary, all the saints. Let us commit ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For to you belong glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Εν ονόματι Κυρίου. Εξομολογήστε το Κύριο και επικαλείστε το όνομα του Άγιου από του <coughs> Θεός Κύριος και επέφανε νημήν <coughs> ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. And this has come about from the Lord and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And this came about from the Lord and is wonderful in our <coughs> eyes. God is the Lord and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Except us catilthes o es plagnos. Τα πήγατε δέξω τριήμερος ή να είμας ελευθερώσεις των παθών η ζωή και η Ανάσταση Σιμών Κυρίε δόξα Σι Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Υιό Πνεύματι τα τεν όλων των κόσμων μαρτύρων Σου 
ਉਸ ਪਰ ਪੇ ਰਗ ਵਿਚ ਤਾਏ ਮਾਤਾ ਕੀ ਇਕਲਿਸੀ ਅਸੂਸ ਤੇ ਲੋਜੇ ਮੈਨੇ ਕਿ ਅਬ ਤੋ ਬੁਆਸੀ ਕ੍ਰਿਸਤੇ ਓ ਸੇ ਓ ਸੇ ਮੋ ਤੋਂ ਲਾਓ ਸੋ Eleo to goes to you became manifest to us on earth the mystery which was hid from eternity and which the angels themselves knew not that God uniting natures without confusion becomes a man and accepts crucifixion for our salvation voluntarily <laughs> by virtue of this resurrecting man whom he had first created he saved our souls from the again and again in peace let us pray to the lord <clears throat> lord have mercy help us save us have mercy on us and protect us so god by your grace Memorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and every Jumeirith of the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. O Dios nuestro, que tú que soy, es ni vacilí que mis que hay doxa, tu patros que tú y que tú y que no me das ni que hay, que hay su seón hasta neonón. Amin, anesti sec necron, iso iton apandon, que angelos fotos des yinex in evoa. Pafsas te ton da creon tis apostolis, evangelis as te, craxa te animnus e oti anesti, Christos o Kyrios, o evdokisas o seos teos, το γένος των ανθρώπων. Δόξα Πατρή και Υιό και Υιό Πνεύματι, άνθρωποι το μνήμα σου σωτερές προγίσαντο, άγγελος των λίθων, εκ της τύρας απεκέλυσε, γυναίκες ευθεάσαντο. Εγι γυρμένον εκ νεκρό και ούτε ευαγγελίσαν το της μαθητές σου εξίον ότι ανέστης η ζωή των απάντων και διαλύθη τα δεσμά του θανάτου Κυρίε δοξασί Born of a virgin, O good one, who also endured crucifixion for our sake, who by death took the spoils of death, his plunder, and showed resurrection, being God. O oh, despise not the ones that you formed with your own hand. Demonstrate your love for men, O Lord of mercy. And accept your mother, the Theotokos, who intercedes on our behalf. O Savior, and save us, our despairing people. The me not to all glory is pretos e pesti, o se pide de astrapes. Christu to dafo, que don lito ne kilete na potu. Nimeu ke povos mega sinesu prorus ke apnon emna bandas oni negri apo tu tapo e pelages tu lito is praises ki ti zandem para no mignode O te anesti o kyrios Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit After having in truth risen from the tomb you commanded the venerable women 
to proclaim your arising to the apostles as it is written. And Peter ran quickly and came to the sepulchre, and beholding the light in the tomb, he was quite amazed. Wherefore he observed that the great clothes were lying alone in the sepulchre without the divine body. And believing, he cried aloud, Glory be to you, Christ our God, our Savior, for you saved all people, for you are the Father's radiance. Both now and forever to the ages of ages, amen. In you, O Lady, full of grace, rejoices all creation. The orders of angels and the human race together. O hallowed temple and rational garden of paradise, the pride of virgins from you did God become incarnate, and our God who existed before the ages became a child. For he made your womb a throne for himself, and your body he made wider than the heavens. In you, O lady, full of grace, Rejoices all creation, glory to you. Emblaye da zikirye didakshan me da dike o matasu. Tonanke lo no dimos kateplaye ne kris lo yeste da tu tanadu. De su ti ti riski kate lo da kisi ne apto tu no da me yiranda. Και εξάδου πάντα ελευθερώσαντα. Teach me your statutes. Why do you mingle the ointments with your tears full of pity, O woman, disciples? Thus the angel who was shining in the tomb cried to the mere bearing woman. See for yourselves the empty tomb and understand that the Savior has risen from the sepulchre. Evlogito si kirie didakson meta dikeo matasu. Very early in the morning, the myrrh bearing women were hastening to your tomb lamenting. But the angel appeared unto them and uttered, The time for lamentation has ended, weep no more. Go announce the resurrection to the apostles. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. When the myrrh-bearing women had come with their spices to your sepulchre, O Savior, they heard the voice of an angel clearly speaking to them. Why do you account among the dead the one who lives? Go and ask. For as God, he is risen from the sepulchre. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We bow down in worship to the Father, and his Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, one in essence. And we cry aloud with the seraphim, Holy, holy, holy are you, O Lord. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. Giving birth to the giver of life, O virgin, you delivered Adam from sin. And to Eve you have rendered joy in place of sorrow. He who was from you became incarnate God and man, has directed to life him who fell from it. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Amen. 
Let us again in peace pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and birth of us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, Most and never Virgin Mary, Lord, through the saints. Let us commend ourselves, one another, and our life to Christ our God. Blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. The myrrh-bearing women came to the grave of the giver of life, seeking the immortal master among the dead, and receiving good tidings of joy from the angel. They reported to the apostles that Christ God had risen, granting the world the great mercy. Let the hatreds of Zion become as grass before it is plucked up. For Christ will also cut their necks with the cutting sword of torments. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. In the Holy Spirit is the life of all things living. He is life from light and great God. Him do we extol with the Father and the Logos. With the fear of you, Lord, let my heart be covered and be humble-minded. Blessed and be exalted and fall from you, all compassionate Master. He who has set his hope in the Lord will not fear when he will judge and punish all things with fire. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit, every divine man sees and speaks as a prophet. He does sublime miracles, praising the one God in three persons, for though it is three lights, yet the Godhead rules as monarch. I cry to you, O Lord, attend, incline your ear to me who am shouting, and purify me prior to taking me from this life. Everyone will set in the earth his mother, and will again return back to receive the torments or honors for his life's actions. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. From the Holy Spirit was bestowed theology, thrice holy monad. Father, unoriginate, from whom timelessly the Son, the issue, and the Spirit, sharing both from form and throne, shown at once from the Father. What is so good or so delightful as for brothers to reunite together? For in this has the Lord promised life everlasting. He who so adorns the lilies of the field commands not to be concerned about one's own raiment. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit, the unifying cause, are all things sustained in peaceful coexistence. This is so, for He is God, with the Father and the Son being truly one in essence. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, to all generations.
had risen from the grave, you also raised those who died and resurrected Adam, and now you are celebrating in your resurrection, and the ends of the world keep festival for your rising from the dead, O most merciful. Having plundered the realms of Hades and raised the dead, O long-suffering, you met the mirror-bearing woman and gave them joy instead of sorrow. And your apostles, you informed of the symbols of victory, my life-giving Savior, and you illumined creation, O lover of man. Therefore, the world also rejoices for your rising from the dead, O most merciful. O planter of creation, Lord, to you does the entire world bring us an offering, the God-bearing martyr saints, as being nature's first fruits, that their earnest entreaties keep your church in a state of profoundest peace through the Theotokos. O Lord, abundantly merciful. Those who were martyred throughout the earth and those who moved their homes to the heavens, the imitators of Christ's suffering and those who remove us from our suffering, here today are gathered, shown to be the first fruits of the church, having held it as the type of that above. And they cried out to Christ, you are my God, preserve me. This, through the Theotokos, we will as you are the most merciful, you are the most merciful. On June 11th, we commemorate the holy apostles Bartholomew and Barnabas. On this day, we commemorate the synaxis of the Archangel Gabriel in Adin on the holy mountain. On this day, the Sunday after Pentecost, we celebrate the feast of all saints who are from every part of the world, those in Asia, Africa, Europe, and America, from North America and from South. I sing praises to all the friends of my Lord. If one is so destined to their numbers be added. By the intercessions of your Immaculate Mother, O Christ our God, and of all your saints from every age, have mercy on us and save us, as you alone are good and love humankind, amen. My mouth shall I open wide, and it will thus be with spirit filled. A word shall I then pour out unto the mother and queen. I will joyously attend the celebration and sing to her merrily, lauding her miracles. To so seem no logos theodoke, or just as ke after no be. The such in grotesques, pneumatic osteoso, candy theodoxisu, Stefano doxis axioso. When the prophet Habakkuk heard the divine and incomprehensible counsel of your incarnation from the Virgin, O Most High, considering he cried aloud, Glory to your power, O Lord my God. Amazed was the universe by your divine magnificence, for, never, for while never consummating wedlock, you held, O Virgin, the God of all in your womb, and gave birth unto a timeless Son, who awards salvation to all who chant hymns of praise to you. Let us, possessed of a godly mind, observing this divine and all venerable feast in honor of the Theotokos, come clap our hands by glorifying God, who was truly born of her. Ukelatrepsa, dictis in Ethiopronis, paradunctisanda, a labirosa bili, Adrias patisandis, kerum decepsalo, iperimnide, otum patero, kerios, ke theosem loyitosi. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord. Stood within the burdens, the son of the Theotokos went and rescued them. He who was prefigured then, manifestly active now, is gathering together the entire universe to sing the hymn. 
praise him supremely. Exalt the Lord, O all you his works unto the ages. Kyrie eleison. Ya Jesus, your Theosimon, can I give the banana bar? Can I give the dogs to not pamper men? The battery can do it. Oh, can do it. You bnev mati ninke ayi. Jesus e onas done ono. Amen. Pass up no ien esato ton kirion. Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be deemed worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Let us be 